In today's video, we're going to go over the Russia progression guide. We're going to show you guys the best places to loot, best places to build, how to get trading gear, we're going to discuss the dead zone and some tips and tricks that I will have. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, we're in the next one, we'll go over the Germany progression guide. Let me know in the comment section below and make sure to drop a like. Let's try to reach 200 likes. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe. In the last video, I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. If you want to claim your prize, please join my Discord, which will be linked in the description below. And today, we're going to try another one, which is an atomic headband. If you want to win this mythic, make sure that you have liked, subscribed, and comment something below. And if you're a channel member, you also have a higher chance of winning. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to start your own uncertain server and have no clue where to start? Then check out Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is super easy to learn, the navigation is also very user friendly and not hard at all to learn. All the servers have really high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own servers, I had no idea how to do anything, but after a few minutes I learned the basics. They have locations all around the globe, the pricing is also very cheap, and they also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Arc, and also Minecraft. A really good feature by Pine Hosting is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. If you have a server with another provider, Pine Hosting can help you move them as well. Make sure to check out Pine Hosting today and use the code LDG for 30% off and let's get straight into the video. So the first topic we're going to go over is the best places to loot. Russia progression is quite simple to follow. Basically when you spawn in you will start from the bottom which has the worst loot and the more you go up the better loot it will become. First of all you will start off from the farms and the campgrounds and it's always good to get yourself any weapons such as bow, scofields or master keys. From there I recommend going to a town, get myself some better clothes, materials and items to start building a base. As we mentioned earlier, we will also go over the best building locations. After that, I would recommend checking out St. Petersburg or Moscow police stations and fire stations for Cobras, Vonias or Filters. After checking out that, I would recommend going to Zavod or the military base for military loot. Also, there's another option which is kind of different and basically you start off on the right side of the map where you go from Camp Alexander, then you will head over to Firewatch base and Crowvy Estate with the military tunnel. From this run, you can get yourself a police weapon as well from Yekaterberg and filters from Firewatch base and from Crowvy Estate, you can get yourself a calling card and from the small military tunnel, you can get yourself Zubek or any other military weapons. Me personally, I would rather go from starting off from a farm getting over to a town such as St. Petersburg and then going to Zavod and then finally going to Volk military base. Next let's go over to some of the best places that you can loot. Obviously as we mentioned earlier Zavod is the military base and it is a construction loot area. Volk military base you can get yourself military loot and the mega zombie does spawn there and also various military vehicles including planes. Next we have ourselves St. Petersburg which has a military checkpoint in the subway but if you gotta go down there you need to get yourself night vision or a flashlight to go down. There's also a mechanic, fire station and police station in St. Petersburg. Next we have Firewatch Base which is really good for filters and for gas masks. Next we have Crovia Estate which you can get yourself coin cards, steelies and mechanical loot and you can also get yourself a helicopter spawn over there. Next we have ourselves Silo 22 which is the dead zone. Over there you obviously need yourself a gas mask and from here you can get yourself military loot. There's a mega zombie spawn, military vehicles and there's also all types of high tier loot. So you can get yourself raiding gear and you can get yourself elite packs, all types of weapons as well. So obviously Silo 22 is probably the best location to get loot. In the dead zone there's also an unmarked dead zone location which over here you can get yourself ranger weapons and you can also get yourself stuff like vipers, eagle fires and you can get yourself the rocket launcher and then there's another dead zone which is the oil rig. Now from here there's another mega zombie spawn, you can get yourself military loot but in order to get over there you need the helicopter, you just need to build yourself like a bridge to get over there. Next let's go over to the next chapter. Now I have played Russia for a long time, I, I have built myself a lot of bases and in this video I'm going to share with you guys the best places that you can build and usually they last a bit longer than building them somewhere completely random. Now keep in mind it's unturned so probably you will get raided at some point but what you can do is you can delay the raiders. You can just have yourself a base that lasts longer until you build yourself like a really big base or a sky base. Obviously I do recommend building sky bases because sky bases they are a bit harder to raid but obviously they are slightly harder to build as well. So if you have yourself some time dedicated and you want to play on that server, then I definitely recommend building a sky base. So first what we're going to go over is we're going to go over the ground bases and then we'll go over to the sky bases. So a location that I build is between Karyev and Zavod. Karyev is a very good place to farm metal and Zavod, as we mentioned earlier, is good for military loot. There's also Volk military base which is close and the military tunnel too, which has a mega zombie spawn over there. Another location that I usually build is east of the military tunnel, north of 
Crowvy Estate. Over there, the dead zone is closed, Firewatch Towers are closed, and Crowvy is closed. So you kind of get everything that you need from those three locations. Next, we have north of Moscow. Moscow is the main city, and around it, there's Zavod, Crowvy, Silo 22, and Volk. All of them are very close. And now let's go over to the sky base recommendations. Now, somewhere that I recommend building is actually above St. Petersburg. And from here, you can glide very close to anywhere that you want. So if you want to get to Zavod, you can just take an umbrella out, jump off from there, and you will probably arrive there. Or if not, you will be very, very close. Another location that I recommend is Firewatch Base. You can also glide to Moscow from this place with an umbrella and under you, you will always have filter spawning. And when you jump off from your sky base to the Firewatch Tower, you can land on the tower and from there you would have such a huge PvP advantage as well. Something else that I recommend for Russia is that you actually build underwater bases. A location that I feel like it's very underrated is underwater around Mount Nivek. Literally nobody goes there and usually underwater bases that I raid over there are always stacked. So that means that they have survived for a long time. Not a, Literally nobody knew about it. Another base building recommendation that I have for underwater bases is at the bottom of the map. Yeah, you are far away from everywhere, but your base is probably not going to get raided over there. At least for a while. Because the only people that go underwater there are the people that are going for quests. And usually people that are going for quests in Russia, they are not going to be that insane PvPers. But obviously if you build it far away or close to the oil rig, then that's a really good spot as well. So the next chapter we're going to go over is how to get raiding gear on this map. So the main thing for this map is that there's no secret to get raiding gear. That is to get yourself dead zone. So get over to Silo 22, the oil rig or the unmarked dead zone. Uh, detonators, rocket launchers, they spawn in the dead zone. As normal vanilla, you have to craft charges and you need rock explosives grenades and wire. Rock explosives, you can get them from all military locations of chess vault military base, Zavod or the unmarked tunnels, Silo 22 or the oil rig. Grenades usually spawn at high tier spawn nodes in all military locations or from mega zombies or if you get over to the dead zone you are guaranteed to get a few. You gotta craft rockets for the rocket launcher which is you just got yourselves a charge and rock explosive and echoes and matsamaris also spawn on this map. Usually they are dropped from mega zombie drops or from high tier spawn nodes. The next chapter we're going to go over is tips and tricks for Russia. So next I'm going to show you guys a few tips and tricks that you can get which can actually make your gameplay experience on Russia much easier. So if you guys didn't know, you can actually get the Mark II if you finish the quest line. This weapon is very, very, very strong, but I don't recommend actually using it for raiding gear. I recommend that you use it for PvP since you cannot get ammo for this. Like you only get yourself the one magazine to get it. There's also a train that spawns on this map if you just follow the tracks. Usually it spawns at the military checkpoint next to Zavod though. This train is very fast, so if you have it, you can cross the map in literally just a few seconds. Also from quests, you can get yourself the jet, which is also pretty fast. And something that a lot of people actually don't know this is, a lot of people just go to Firewatch base to get yourself filters. I don't recommend doing this, I recommend checking out the fire stations as well. In most towns, there's a fire station. And also there are a lot of Firewatch towers close to Firewatch base so don't just go to firewatch base the only one tower i recommend going all of the towers because there's firemen zombies over there and filters actually do spawn a lot on top of the towers and that is it for this video guys i really hope that you guys did learn something new again if you guys want to see a germany guide or a yukon guide then let me know in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one bye